Hello and welcome back to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In the last episode, we played the stage The Secrets, which was just a training exercise, and played against Nano, the nanobot that takes control of electronics. In this episode, we are going to play The Trap. Maybe. Explain to me just what's going on here, Dr. Stockman. Hmm. I am already prepared to put the next plan into action. A plan that will take care of your little search and finish off those blasted turtle creatures while we're at it. I just hope it goes well, Doctor. Hun, continue to assist Dr. Stockman with his plan. I must gain possession of that sword as quickly as possible. And Hun, eliminate anyone who interferes, whoever they may be. Yes, sir. Imbeciles. Now what are these turtle creatures? giant turtles it's not like we were crossbred with humans or anything so turtle man isn't quite right is it donnie keep it down mikey we're trying to listen here Shh. here is the footage of this turtle man watch closely i don't know what that thing is but if it's trying to imitate us it should have a little better fashion sense i mean look our shells are much more vibrant green aren't they Either way, as turtles, we've got to do something about this. What do you know about the crimes, Donnie? Can you figure out where they'll strike next? Just one minute. Hmm. Here, and then here. Hmm. I've got it! They'll strike here next. We can't let them damage the turtles' honor anymore. Let's go, guys. <sighs> There was so many things wrong with that scene. But I did think it was interesting. Are you sure this is the place, Donnie? Now that I think about it, there's actually nothing that I can think of that would have been interesting. Bingo. It's them again. But it looks like they're just about to make their getaway. You punks won't get away with dishonoring us turtles. Do you have any idea why he's always like this, Leo? Couldn't you be a little more delicate? True, he's about as hot-headed as they come, but I don't like being dishonored any more than he does. Who are these fools? The little lizard man freaks I've been hearing about. Who are we? More like who are you? And get it right, we're turtles. Have you ever seen a lizard this good looking? Either way, you're still freaks. Where I stand, you were pretty freakish yourself. Tell me, just what did you eat to get up here? I've heard enough from you, you lizard man. I can't let anyone who interferes with that control, lizard or otherwise, discuss me alive. Men, give them a warm welcome. I told you, we're turtles! I don't understand their direction with the storytelling of this because it is incon it's not cohesive with the actual show and honestly I gotta go figure out whether this came out first or the show because I am I find it hard to believe that the 
show use actual scenes from the game more so than I would disbelieve the game just using scenes from the show, which I'm still worried about copyright over. <laughs> uh, but I just don't understand. I've only missed one episode of the series because it was taken off the internet, and I don't feel like paying two dollars to watch an episode on Amazon. And honestly, uh. They knew about Hun. I don't remember this, that scene where they were looking for the fake turtle. And I highly doubt that the first time they met Hun was because the, in the one episode that I missed, they not only would have had to fit the giant Mauser into it, but they also would have had to introduce Hun as a character as well as name-dropping Master Shredder, or the Shredder. And, um, but, uh, honestly, I just don't think that in a 20-minute episode that they would have that much information throughout the entire show be missed. And with that, that ninja goes away. Just one. Raw hide. Man, that was a lot of enemies for just the first area. Chase me down. You're gonna have to try a little bit harder because I'm looking for boxes. Don't they know that I got more important things to do, like looking for boxes? Ha ha ha! And with that, that guy goes away. And with that... Oh. And this guy goes away. Okay. I'll take it. I'll definitely take that. I noticed no difference in power level. I'll take that recovery. good way of making a good combo going. I want to give it a try. Hit this. Do this. Ah, oh, I missed it. Okay, first, first you go so far away that I lose my combo because of you. What'd you guys do? Just sit on the I post. I know I wanted to look up there, but I knew I wanted to look up there, but I didn't think there was going to be. Oh my goodness! There's so many of them. All right. 
Touch screen. Man, it is just a... It is a stadium of just non-stop enemies. Get out of here, you Donatello ripoff. Something tells me this is the end of this mission. Which means I better get to this stuff first. Alright. Nice try. Oh, ah. Wait, what's behind the truck? Gotta check behind the truck. Alright, are you ready? Ow. too fast. Oh, I just keep on wiping out fields too much. Let's try it like this. Screw you and your ninja star. Just because of this, you're going down first. Holy moly. No, no. You're going down first. Alright, I got 17. Beat my record. <laughs> A number only I would care about. This is an arena of enemies. I cannot believe how many people they've sicked on me so far. Holy moly. Wow. There we go. <clears throat> and with this, hopefully this is the end of this little plethora of enemies. I don't even know if I used that word correctly. I gotta look it up now. I know I've heard it used before, at least in a context of... Uh, overwhelming or beyond rational however I don't necessarily think it's the right one uh, right term right word for that terminology is the game no longer able to handle five people at a time oh my goodness that was just to get to here Holy moly. Okay, game. Jeez. I got it. <laughs> Alright, I kind of skipped over one important word there. But it was just awesome, so I don't find it that overwhelmingly important. 
All right. Trailer roof. Let's check it out. I just realized how quiet the music's got to be on this. Ah. Alright, so whatever that max combo was, is kind of like what it's going to be for this. Alright, these guys are going like flies. Don't you hold a sword up to me like you hold a candle. Alright. And just like that, they're down. Man, this is a long truck. I think the longest truck I've ever seen before was 54 inches. And this definitely seems to be beyond 64 inches. Oh, I was doing just fine moving on my own. Let me do this again. We Bop, 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 bop. And down they go. And just like that, they're gone. Bye bye. <laughs> that was it. Oh. Alright, so I think I can do one more. Because that was kind of short. And I'd hate to end this on 20 minutes. I mean, that'd actually be a very good number to end it on, but... I don't think that was really enough. And I also did have, do have to cut out like 5 minutes worth, so... I thought something would have happened after defeating Nano, but what I thought would have happened didn't happen, so... I decided to scrap my that whole section just because... Uh, overall, I had did something I really didn't want to do, which was start on the main menu, and uh, if I wasn't even going to... If there was going to be nothing accomplished in between me going to the menu I did start on versus the menu that, uh, the main menu, then honestly I would have rather just started on the menu that I did to save a little bit of time. Turn on whack. I cannot believe that hit. Crack the whip. Don't you dare throw a star at me. Thank you. I appreciate it more when I'm able to move. All right. That guy tried to jump at me. Uh oh. I was just thinking about this uh, earlier today. I was wondering if I was going to see these invisible invi ninjas. Holy cow. Jeez, I almost took out my entire recording set. That, that uh, was not... Definitely not something I needed to have happen right now.
And with this, the ninja that stands alone. Goodbye. Donk, 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 doink. Ow. Warning, falling objects. Gee, I wonder if an object's gonna fall there. Honestly, I hope it would be like a insta-kill object just because... Ah, oh, darn, I'll never know. Because... Honestly, that was so blatant and obvious that, uh, and I'm not even being insulting, I mean, it literally was warning you there was a falling object going to hit in that square. And I would really hope that that thing would be a one-hit kill, just because if anybody was to accidentally be standing in that area in the middle of a fight, ooh, I get to find out right here. Darn, not an insta-kill. All right. Whoa, where'd you come from? You're still standing? Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeesh. Some people just don't know when to quit. Come on. Get out of here with your scissors. Didn't your mama ever teach you not to run with scissors? Oh goodness, I'm starting to sound like people from the show. Now I gotta look up some one named Kirby on comic books because... They did a dedication episode to the to him, and I highly doubt they're going to have that ep episode in this in any way, shape, or form. If they do, I am playing the right character for it, but there's part of me that wishes they do, and there's part of me that knows that they won't, just because it would be a lot of work, and the reason why I wish it would be so just wouldn't justify putting all that work to doing it, to putting in Kirby's dedication episode. Which would really be a shame. It really would. But first I'll see if the episode's even in here. I mean, I'm pretty sure that in terms of where this episode falls, where I am in terms of the rest of the episodes, I am almost pretty sure that we're past that episode already. Unless in the one episode that I missed, I not only missed the one thing I wanted to see, but I... Oh! Hey, look at that. It, ow. Alright, I got it. Not only did I miss the one thing I actually did want to see in the series, but, man, that's like a lot of information they would have put in one episode. However, I'll be more revealing in hopefully just a couple minutes, because we are well over. Hey, where did you guys come from? I'm going to say that every time these guys come on the field, because they just come out of nowhere. No, I was not joking. See, look at that. That guy just popped out of nowhere. Turtle whack. Man, these combos are hard to keep going. I mean, I guess that's kind of like what a combo is. 
That's not what I needed. But they ought to at least give me a little bit of an extension. Whoa! I got comboed. Combo breaker! I didn't even know that person was there in the distance, so that was a really cool shot that I didn't even know I made. I love how lucky you guys get with them hitboxes. I hope there's not a little bit of a Pokemon cheat going on here, giving them trainers that extra bit of luck. I will say, though, that I think this game... While I won't call this game challenging by any stretch, I think we all know Street Fighter-type games that... Uh, are definitely more challenging than this, but uh, I will say that I don't think the game's been necessarily unfair so far. I mean, I think these guys are annoying, but other than that, I think it's been fair. I don't think I've died for reasons that I don't think were fair yet. And the only way I have to describe any of this going on is whether or not it's fair. But that is a... That is a common issue I find with games, is that they think that challenge means unfair. And, uh... I don't enjoy games with broken mechanics just because... It's more annoying than anything. I would say frustrating, but uh, it's a video game, so it's not like something I'm losing sleep over if I die to a boss a bunch of times. I think we all know what game that's referencing. But uh, I will say that it makes me think less of a game that has to resort to... I think it, I have, uh, it makes me think less of a game that has to resort to just having broken mechanics just to make it challenging. Alright, full recovery, and then I get smacked. And this that guy somehow managed to emerge unscathed. Yay, but it looks like something important is about to happen. Is something about to happen? I don't know. Alright. Meet Turtlebot. Holy crud. Oh man, I'm getting comboed like crazy. Meet Turtlebot. And this game is the reason why I love Turtlebot so much. I think the show doesn't do Turtlebot justice, but I've always loved Turtlebot. Ah, I've always loved Turtlebot. I love this design. I love this style. I like that little Jetbot pack. I even like that little... I even like that little toy they made of them way back in the day. I used to have one. I gotta go look for that thing. 
Get out of here, you little fly. Oh, come on. That was not a crap. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm about ready to get combo broke. Get out of here with my stick. That's incredibly annoying. Okay, that's it. Get out of here. And you're done. Goodbye, Turtle Bot. Stupid little foot ninja. Anyways, I think the show does not do Turtle Bot any kind of justice. They make him look like a clinky, clunky piece of junk. And this game definitely. Definitely my favorite interpretation of Turtle Bot. And I used to love Turtle Bot a whole lot. But with that. I think that brings the end to this video. In the next episode, we are going to continue our pursuit of um, TurtleBot. And I'll see you guys then.